Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover reasoning and problem solving. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we learned how information finds its way in and out of the human system via input-output channels and how it is stored in the memory. In this video, we are going to learn how humans process this information to reason and solve problems. Thinking requires different amounts of knowledge. Like adding two numbers requires relatively less amount of information from mathematics domain whereas understanding newspaper articles require information from different domains like language, world affairs, politics, sports, etc. In this video, we are going to learn two types of thinking that is reasoning and problem solving. So let's get started. Reasoning Reasoning is the process by which we use the knowledge we have to draw conclusions or infer something new about the domain of interest. Mainly, there are three types of reasoning which are deductive, inductive and abductive. So, let us understand them one by one. Deductive reasoning Deductive reasoning derives logical conclusion from the given premises. Deductions does not necessarily correspond to our notion of truth. For example, given the premise, if it is raining, then the ground is dry. We have a deduction, it is raining, therefore the ground is dry. It is a perfectly valid deduction, even though it contradicts our notion of truth. Therefore, deductive reasoning is often misapplied. For example, given the premise, some people are babies and some babies cry, we might have a deduction, some people cry. However, it is an invalid deduction as we are not told that all babies are people and therefore it is logically possible that the babies who cry are actually not people. Now, let us move on to inductive reasoning. Induction is generalizing from the cases we have seen to infer information about the cases that we have not seen. For example, if every elephant we have seen has a trunk, then we infer that all elephants have trunks. However, it is not possible to see all the existing elephants. Hence, this inference is unreliable and cannot be proved to be true. It can only be proved to be false if we come across an elephant without a trunk. In spite of its unreliability, induction is a useful process that we use to learn and infer more about our environment. Now, let us move on to abductive reasoning. Abduction reasons from a fact to the action or the state that caused it. This helps us to derive explanations for the events that we observe. For example, if we know that if Sam has been drinking, then he drives the car too fast, then we might conclude that whenever Sam drives the car too fast, he is drinking. However, it is not true as there might be other reasons why he is driving fast. Therefore, if an event always follows an action, the user will believe it to be true unless evidence to the contrary is made available. So, we have completed three types of reasoning. Now, let us move on to problem solving. If reasoning is a means of inferring new information from what is already known, problem solving is the process of finding a solution to an unfamiliar task using the knowledge that we have. It is characterized by the ability to adapt the information we have to deal with new situations. There are two theories proposed for problem solving which are Gestalt theory and problem space theory. Now, let us understand them. Gestalt theory. It suggests that problem solving is both productive and reproductive. Reproductive problem solving draws on previous experience whereas productive problem solving involves insight and restructuring of the problem. The next theory is problem space theory. It suggests that the problem space has problem states and problem solving involves generating these states using legal state transition operators. So, we have an initial state and a goal state and we use operators to move from the initial to the goal state. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have liked the content, then do not forget to like and share it with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.